POC with BVG. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a dive roll. So the first thing we need to get down is the roll. I'm going to be doing everything as if you're right side dominant. If you're left side dominant, just flip everything around. Alright, so we put your right foot forward and you're going to place your two hands facing each other next to your foot. You're then going to roll from your right shoulder to the bottom of your left waist. Like that. Make sure that you put your chin on your chest because you don't want to hurt your head. And if you're going over your right shoulder as I am, you'll put your chin to the left shoulder. Like that. Make sure that you arch your back. So this motion makes you arch your back and you've got to keep it arched. If you go flat, that's when you land and you hurt yourself. So it's a smooth roll. Foot, hands, arch your back, chin on your chest and roll. Right foot forward, hands together, chin on chest. Arch your back and roll. Okay, so you're going to want to practice that a few times until you've got the roll down that it doesn't hurt at all. The secret would be to hear as little as possible. The more silent it is, the better you're doing it. Right, now that you've got the roll down, we need to get to the dive part. So what you're going to do is instead of placing your hands down like that, you're going to place them straight. Make sure that your elbows can bend outwards. And you're going to do a very similar type of roll and you're going to start from the ground kind of like a rolling pony. We're going to do this a few times until you get the idea of going straight. Like that. And you just keep doing it. Again, you want it to be as painless and as silent as possible. Then you'll start to add in a little bit of bounce. Keep it small, rather get it right than try and rush into doing it very well because then you're going to hurt yourself and then it won't seem that fun. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to keep on adding a higher and a higher jump until you're jumping as high as you possibly can. You'll see I'm using a mat. If you have a mat, great. If you have a mattress, perfect. I, however, learned this on the ground, outside, just on some grass in the middle of the day. And I was okay. So if you don't have the luxury of having this mat or a gym or a soft floor mattress, you'll be okay. Just take it slowly. So as I said, we're just going to keep on doing it until you get higher and higher and higher until you're going as high as you possibly can. You can also increase the distance that you're jumping. Let's get to some tips, tricks, and tips and tricks. <laughs> the higher you jump and the further you jump, the angle that you land or the angle that you jump at is very important. So we make it the idea that I go with is kind of like a Superman jump. Don't go for a handstand or for a handspring or a front flip or something like that. A lot of people that I've been teaching, I notice that they try and do their rotation before they land. The idea of a dive roll is to be diving and then only once you touch the ground does the roll begin. So make sure you dive first and roll afterwards. So the angle that you dive is kind of a superman angle as I said before. And I'm going to show you on this beam the angle that I mean. So make sure that you dive at that angle the entire way and don't dive over like this. Dive over. Basically, if you could do a handstand, it's not going to go down well for you. You'll probably land on your back or your neck and it's going to hurt. So once you've got the angle of your dive down, we need to work on the way that you land. So you're going to do your Superman dive, land with your hands, and then you want to absorb everything first. Then put your neck down and roll. It's not an immediate land and roll situation. So the way I practice this is by doing the dive, trying to get into a handstand and then lowering myself down. Kind of like this. It's a very smooth, slow, and controlled movement. You've worked on the angle of your dive and you've worked on the way of slowly lowering yourself to make the landing smoother. Now hopefully you've practiced your roll so that you're doing it quite silently from quite some height to quite some distance or both, that'd be best. 
and now we're going to go on the landing, how you continue on after the move. So the way that I do it is I kind of keep my left leg the way it is now and my right leg the way it is now in this position and I stay like this throughout my roll and as soon as I land my left foot lets me get up and my right foot continues me running. So it's harder to explain, easier to show, this is what it looks like. One more time. So as you can see, my feet stay in the same position and it will allow me to carry on running after my dive. Now that you've got all my tips and you've got all my tricks, let's practice the actual dive roll. So we're going to add in some obstacles, we're going to get some serious height and some serious distance. Let's do it. Thank you for watching, I hope it helped, I hope you get your dive rolls down or if you're just watching this for fun, you're a champion. If you have anything to say, any queries, complaints, concerns, anything nice to say, any videos you'd like me to do or any videos of you doing what I just did, let me know in the comments or show me in the comments or attach it or something. And then as I never said in the beginning of the video, you have to like and you have to subscribe. Terms and conditions, a whole bunch of boring lawyer stuff, I'm not going to get into it but you know the drill. And the most important thing about a dive roll, which you always need to remember, is that it is the best for intro or outros in like entering a frame or exiting a frame when making films, when making parkour videos, anything like that. Keep that in mind.